types of bases what are the types of bases in which we will discuss a standard basis what is a standard basis so in rn or cn okay c is the set of complex number r is the set of real number vectors 1 0 0 0 means its length is n and first position is 1 and all other position is 0 and second vector in which second position is 1 and all other position have zeros and similarly nth vector we have at nth position the vector has 1 and all other position have 0 so when we form such type of basis then we called it a standard basis and one can easily show that it is li and span rn okay so when we take uh, r square over r is a vector space we have seen so it has a standard basis what will be the standard basis as a standard basis okay so first position will be 1 and other position will be 0 but it has power n 2 so its length will be 2 similarly second vector will be 0 1 so it has basis this and this basis is called a standard basis similarly r3 will have a standard basis 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 these vectors forms a standard basis for r cube okay now we will uh, proceed ordered basis what is ordered basis so let b1 b2 dot 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 bn be basis okay we have a basis b1 b2 dot dot bn if we fix the position of vectors in a basis we get an ordered basis okay so if we fix the position v1 should be here only other way if we ch uh, change the position of v1 then we got another basis okay assume v1 v2 v3 b an ordered basis okay then if we change the position of v2 and v1 we will we have same member as before here but we got an another ordered basis okay we got an another ordered basis so these basis is assumed to be different for ordered basis okay use of ordered basis we will uh, learn in linear operator we will use this we will use to form a matrix of a linear operator okay so now we have a hamel basis so if we have back set of vectors vi i belonging to index set here i may be finite and infinite okay i may be finite infinite countable uncountable anything okay so we have a vector set of vectors which is li we have assumed that these vectors are li and for any vector from vector space we can have linear combination for that vector as c1 v1 plus dot dot cn vn means we have taken only finite vectors from set s to form any vector v from a vector space okay for some scalar c1 c2 dot dot cn will be from the given field okay then we say s is a hamel basis okay this is li and any vector can be span by finite linear combination of these vectors then we say the set s becomes a hamel basis okay in the case of in the case of finite i 
we get simple basis what we learned okay basic one now we have sorted basis what is sorted basis if vi i belongs to index set same here i may be finite countably infinite or uncountable be a basis okay we have assumed this is a basis it is a basis okay here we can have set of vectors okay set of vectors if it is a sorted basis it will be sorted basis if firstly it should be ally okay now second any vector from the vector space we have v equal to this v equal to alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus dot dot infinite sum means that we have infinite linear combination of vector bi and this will be equal to vector b for some alpha i belongs to field okay so we have a series here we have a infinite series here and series will converge for some alpha i's they may not be converge for some alpha i but we have a convergence for some alpha i's and when what convergence come into picture we have some metric okay on that space so we can see here hamel basis and sorted basis have a difference that hamel basis have only finite linear combination whereas sorted basis have infinite linear combination and that will converge in vector space for some scalars okay that's what i have written here in hamel basis we have only finite linear combination but in sorted basis we can have infinite linear combination okay so here alpha i may not be equal to 0 for infinite i okay it may be that for infinite i it is not equal to 0 so, okay so thank you